Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is everything I own. There is a few that I have on the side and that's because I don't have them in the pockets yet and I'm waiting honestly to get more envelopes but also I need to make a trip to Lowe's to get um, the magnetic air filters that will help, you know, because it's so much cheaper at Lowe's so to keep this organized. So just like I said, these are the three baskets that I own. This is all I have. Um, there's no specific order, honestly. Maybe because I don't have as much, I don't have like the divider that says like, you know, holiday or, or birthday or things like that. I, okay, so let me just show you how I store them. So I basically grab, I don't know if you guys can see that. I basically grab um, this pocket and I, you could get them from Simon Says Stamp because that's where I got mine from. And I store the stamp on the white portion of the filter and then the back is the magnetic and that's what I use to hold on to the die. So, and then of course I put the, I don't know if you guys could see, the brand, um, the name of the company and then the name of the stamp. So I'm basically going to go through and pick out the die cuts that I think I could use. Some of these don't even have like a die. They're just by themselves like that, but I still store them the same way. And I'm later on, maybe in another video, I can show you um, you know, flowers like these that you could stamp in like three layers and doing different colors of ink pads and they come with the die or you could, you don't have to have the die cuts because you could just fussy cut them, but you could use these as embellishments as well. So maybe later on I could do a embellishment um, video just using my stamp sets, my actual stamps. So... Okay, I think all of these are just kind of like my stamps. So we'll put, move this one out of the way. And then here I may have, I may have a few. A few that I can, because we're just using die cuts today. We're not going to, we're not going to be stamping to create embellishment, so we'll do that later, like in another video when I have some time. Some of my stamps are so darn cute. And I wanted to say that I just keep three baskets, you guys. I don't know if you know that I have, like, a, I guess I'm scared of becoming a hoarder. <laughs> So whenever they get full and I have like no more space and they're completely full, it's time to clean out. Like I know, right? Like that doesn't seem like I have a lot. But I think right now it's because I just don't have the room for it. So I can't. I cannot become a hoarder. So my policy in my home is that if I don't use them, I, if I don't use anything within six months, I need to pass it along and find a better home for it. I think we could use those circles right here. These are the My Favorite Things stitch circles. Um, we could use the banners. Let's use the squares. This is mostly my dies. Let's use the scribble circles. Okay, we could do these tags that are from Hero Arts. If we want different types of circles, we could do nesting circles by Hero Arts. And then from Lawn Fawn, we could use the little heart here and this little tag right here as well. We could use the stars. We could use this honky heart from Simon Says Stamp. We could use the Lawn Fawn, put a bow on it just to make bows. Um, and then this one is what I used to create my very first flip book and I fell in love with the with the butterflies and these little circles. So we'll definitely use that. 
and I'll zoom you guys in so that you guys are obviously closer and you're able to see what I'm doing. I don't know if we could use this rectangular. We could just cut it. And then I think, I guess we could use this scale up rectangular stackables. Let's try it. Because I don't have the scale up scissors. I think I gave those away. So, okay. And then I only have three of my stamping up. So I keep those in the original DVD cases. So we're going to move this aside. And then I wanted to show you, let me zoom you guys in. Cause I can't reach. Okay, so the very first one, as you can see, I got all of these at, at a really great price at Hobby Lobby. They were like on that sale that they had 75% or more on craft stuff. So these are some of the dies that are from Zizix and they're the thin, li thin lids. They're just called dies, by the way. I've been saying die cuts. But the die cuts is the actual paperwork. Sorry, I know I'm confusing myself. Okay, so we got this um, this one right here that says hola, which is hello in Spanish. And it was $1.75. We have this one's in English. It says thanks, and it's just the word thanks with a few little flowers right there. And then this one is by Spellbinders and it's just an adorable little deer. The original price was like $14.99 and I only paid $3.75. So, so stinking cute. I don't know if I could use this as an embellishment. I guess if I make a big tag, but um, I'm still going to play around with it and cut some of it. And then this one's my favorite. I think it works perfectly for making die cuts. Um, this one is also by Spellbinders and it was $2.50. And then this one was also by Sizzix. Um, and I don't know the name, but I paid $5 for it on Hobby Lobby and it was on discount. And this one, look how perfect it is because you can make dollies for your embellishments. So, now that um, you saw all my die cuts, I am going to set these aside. And the next thing I wanna do, cause these are some of the ones I want to use, but because I don't want them to get mixed up or for me to, you know, like mismatch and put one where it doesn't belong or get it lost, cause that's normally what happens with my stuff. I end up misplacing it in my <laughs> in the same table <laughs> where I'm working so I'm just gonna set these aside for now and then I'm going to be bringing over my little drawer of scrap paper and as you can see this is the only drawer I keep of scraps so when it's full like this it's time to it's time to get like doing projects that require the usage of heavy scraps so I am going to start by simply removing the bigger pieces and I am going to keep all the sizes that are big enough piece where I can make like into a background that I'm gonna keep it. I'm not gonna trim it down or use it because for those, I normally end up using them as backgrounds for like bigger projects, like pages or cards or things like that. So just taking everything out and see, I had, um, I don't know what that's doing here. Um, I had already started somewhat so I have my paper packs in here that I want to keep in use for um, for backgrounds, of course, when the time comes. And then I have the big pieces like so. So I'm basically just going to be separating small pieces. I don't know if you can see them. Putting them here and then um, putting the bigger pieces back on the box. 
because they could have a better purpose, you know, for something else. Okay, so basically this is what I have to work with. Um, I am bringing, I'm just going to set it aside. What I want to do is, I told you it was going to be elbow grease, right? I'm just continuing to, um, to use my scrap of paper until I run out. And basically just using my dies to, to make the scraps go a little further. So um, I think I'm just going to leave you here because I feel like this project is going to be an all-nighter for me. I still have a lot to go. All of this is what I've done so far. I've obviously made a dent in my scraps already. I still have this huge stack to do, which is going to be a huge project. And I don't want to make this video too long. But essentially, I'm just going to sit here and use as many dies as I can to shrink this amount. You guys, I'm so done and I'm so tired. Look how my little drawer looks so nice and halfway filled. And look at all this mess. What a mess, right? Just wanted to show you that. Now, um, I'm taking a break, so this junk is going to stay right here until tomorrow. Um, but I have to cut these out to use as well. So anyways, I hope that you found some inspiration. It took me two days, you guys. But that's with me working. For anyways, I have accomplished the mission. I hope you guys get inspired to use your scraps, create something. Even though it feels like I made a bunch of dollies. Look how cute that one is though. This one right here. It's like in the with pink and green colors. And I made tags and I made little strips of what looks like paper ribbon and just more little notes. So um I hope that you get inspired to use your your scraps and find a new per a new usage for them. Um, thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next video which is going to be me sorting these out and then showing you how I stored it. Thanks so much. See you soon.